Hey, Ian with Turatech USA, and these are the Zega Evo Panniers. Every Zega Evo Pannier system is sold with a complete set of locks. That's six locks total, three per box. And today I'm going to show you how to install the locks properly on these cases. The first step is to make sure that the release mechanism for the box is totally locked closed. To do that, you'll need to close the mechanism here with one hand and then snap down on the latch. There are two different types of lock in the Zega Evo lock kit. This long one with the hook on the end is for the lid release, and this shorter one with the blunt end is for the latch mechanism release. The latch mechanism locks are different for either side, and one of them turns clockwise, and the other one turns counterclockwise. So you need to make sure you get the right lock in the right box. The way you do that is by lining up the locking tab with the two flat sides in the lock barrel and then note which way the key rotates. So this lock rotates clockwise and that's the correct one for this box because when it's in the locked position the tab will be straight down and when it's in the unlocked position the tab will go over here into this void in the buckle. Now that we've identified the correct lock for this box we're going to place the lock in the locked position, so line the tab up with the flat sides and insert it into the lock hole, just like that. And you can test to make sure you've got the right, the right lock in the right place by attempting to unlock this release mechanism. It won't go, and then we can turn the key 90 degrees, it turns without pushing the lock barrel out, and now we're able to release the latch mechanism. So we have the right lock. Once you have the right lock, make sure you're holding it all the way into the box and take one of the spring clips and angle it so that the bow of the spring clip is away from your key. And then insert the spring clip into the top of the buckle. And then make sure to push it all the way down with a flat bladed screwdriver. It goes actually quite a ways into here. Now this lock is fully installed, this is the locked position, we can unlock it and open the box. Now that we've got the release mechanism lock installed, it's time to install the lid latch lock. And I find that easiest to do with the pannier upside down, so let's get back to work here. To install the lock here, I find it easiest to open the buckle, and now we can kind of visualize what has to happen. So all four of these locks with the long tab are exactly the same, and they have the same double D shape here with the two flat sides. So if you hold the flat sides vertical, you can imagine with the lock slid into the buckle, when it rotates clockwise, this tab engages with this piece here in the pannier. So to make sure that you have it installed correctly, you can see in there, just make sure that when you turn the lock clockwise, that the tab is turning like it's going to grab this hook right here. We can even test that by closing the buckle, holding the lock in, turn it clockwise, and then make sure that you can't open the buckle. This one's correct. So now all you have to do is take another one of these spring clips, hold it so the bow in the spring is facing away from the key, and then slide it into the slot and make sure that it's pushed all the way flat with a flat blade screwdriver. We can confirm that the buckle is locked, everything's working properly. Installation's exactly the same on the other side of the box, and then you're all done. Now you have the locks installed on your Zega Evo panniers. Before you head out for your next ride, Take a few seconds and write down the laser etched key number that's stamped on these keys here. And that way, if you ever manage to lose all of the keys that came in this kit, you'll be able to give us a call at Turotech USA and get a replacement set of keys, no problem. That's all you need to know to install the locks on these panniers. Have a great ride.